Well, hello, Dr. David Wipperman here. And today I'd like to teach you a couple stretches for the muscles of your lower back as well as your core area. Now, to do this stretch properly, you want to find a wall in your home without pictures on it that you can stand against, or you can try the, the uh, back of the door. Now, it's very easy. What you want to do is you want to stand with your heels almost touching the wall. Your bottom, the tips of your shoulder blades, and the back of your head are going to be against the wall, and they stay against the wall the entire stretch. Now, what you're going to do when you're in that position is very easy. You're simply going to slide or bend from your waist straight over to the side. When you do that, you're going to hold that position for 20 seconds. Relax. Come straight back up. Then you're going to do the opposite side. You're going to bend, hold it for 20 seconds, and come straight back up. Now, what that stretch does is it stretches the muscles above your waist on both sides, which is one of the major muscles that you use when you bend or twist or turn. Now, there are a couple of mistakes I see people make when they do this stretch. One is that when they bend, they let their head come away from the wall and they're not touching the wall with it. So make sure you stay back, okay? Or number two is when they're in that position and they start to bend, they let their hips slide while they're bending and you let your bottom slide against the wall. You don't want to do that because again, you can't isolate those muscles when you do that either. So when you bend, make sure your bottom stays planted against the wall and you're bending from the waist up. Again, you hold that position for 20 seconds and you're gonna alternate and do it three times each way. So that stretch literally takes you only two minutes to do, but it's very effective in those muscles above your waist. Now the next stretch I'm gonna teach you to do, you're gonna be laying down. So you can lay on the floor or on the bed. The harder the surface, the better, because you'll be able to isolate those muscles. So let me show you how we do that. Okay, so for the second stretch, what you want to do is find either a flat surface like your floor or your bed, as long as it's firm enough and you don't sink into it too far, and you're going to lay on your back. When you get in that position, what you're going to do is you're going to pull your one knee towards your opposite shoulder. So when you're in that position, you're going to lay down, pull this knee over to your opposite shoulder. You're going to hold that position for 20 seconds. Relax. You can do the same thing the other way. Pull the opposite knee to the other shoulder. Use your hand that's on the opposite side of the knee to do the pulling. And when you do that stretch properly, what you'll feel is it's stretching you um, in your hip muscles, right around your hip pocket. And that's exactly what we're aiming to do. We want to stretch those muscles below your waist uh, with this stretch. Now, in combination with the other stretch, we're going to do both muscle groups that are going to uh, stretch those muscles around your core um, that you use for probably 75 to 90 percent of your range of motion. Now this stretch only takes two minutes because you're going to do it each way three times just like you did the one against the wall. You're going to hold it for 20 seconds each time. So if you're doing it properly you should feel it stretching those hip muscles. If not, if you feel anything pinching in your groin, it's actually that you've done that stretch and that stretch is not properly designed for you. So there's another one that you could do that I'd like to show you that you're sitting the same, or you lay in the same position doing the same thing, but instead you're going to actually cross one leg over your knee, reach under and grab that knee and pull that up towards your shoulder. Okay, so it looks like this. You're going to lay, pull that up this direction. You're going to hold that for 20 seconds, relax, cross over, bend, bend down, pick up that knee, hold that for 20 seconds, and you can do that again three times each way. It's very important that we always stretch both sides of our body. You want to hold it for a good 20 seconds to give your body that chance to relax. You don't want to hold your breath when you stretch, like I said before, and you don't want to try to push it to, to, to try to get a little bit more of a stretch because both of those will end up injuring you. So those two stretches are great. To, like I said, they're great for you to, and designed for you to use anytime you're going to be active. So not only if you're going to be working out, but also let's just say you're going to be working the yard that weekend. You want to stretch those muscles out so they're relaxed when you, when you exercise or when you do that activity so you don't injure your back.